Today's guest is Sergeant Kendall Booth. Here's our job talk with a police officer. Welcome to the Job Talk podcast, where we talk with people who love their jobs. Our guests open up about their challenges, surprises, and secrets to success in their industries. Through conversation, we explore their careers, past work experiences, and the education that got them to where they are now. This is the shortened version from our in-depth conversation. Please visit thejobtalk.com to find the full episode. Kendall, what what is a typical day like for you? Well, I think the the start of my shift is typical. Um, for most patrol officers, um, you come in, you have your workout uh, before shift begins, uh, and then you got to make sure you got all your equipment ready, your uniform, whatever you wear in your belt, um, your car, your radio, uh, just make sure everything's ready to go. Uh, and then when your shift starts, we'll have uh, what's called a parade. And on that parade, we'll get information from our supervisors basically about what's happening in the in the division during this day, what some important pieces of information are, and then just getting assigned a partner if you, if you do have a partner for that day, uh, and then the area where you're gonna be working. So it's basically that information sharing and assignment uh, time. And after that, you just uh, head out to your, <clears throat> excuse me, head out to your car, log into uh, our, what's called a remote working station or um, mobile working station. Uh, and then you just say, okay, I'm free, send me wherever you need. And from that point on, there is no typical day. Uh, you can go from anything as simple as, uh, you know, someone stealing some candy from a store to uh, someone getting shot, a home invasion. So uh, you just have to be ready for for whatever comes up. What are some of the challenges in being a police officer? You know, just making sure fatigue is making sure you're taking care of yourself. And that's just not physical fatigue, that can be mental fatigue as well. Um, To make sure, you know, you're taking yourself mentally, physically taking care of yourself, and as well as maintaining that uh, family work-life balance sometimes too, I think is really important. Some people sometimes get a little lost in the work and forget about the most important thing, which is uh, your friends and family. Uh, and then recently, I think it's just the um, a lot of the negativity toward police from, from different areas in that uh, the job we do uh, can be very difficult and uh, can be very taxing. And sometimes those added outside stress factors um, can make it very difficult sometimes as well. What do you love about being a police officer? We help people. <laughs> um, when it gets down to it, I, I think that's the biggest thing for me, um, whether it be in patrol, where you're helping in uh, some crisis that's happening right now, uh, or what I do uh, right now in working with youth throughout that process, seeing the change from the beginning to the end and how much more resilient they are um, when the time they finish is a very, very rewarding experience for me and for the people that I work with. What advice would you give to somebody considering becoming a police officer? I think someone considering it is, uh, much like any other job, is just talk to people in the field. Um, Try to connect with different people in different areas of policing to see what advice they can offer you. Uh, And then the second thing would be just to be honest with yourself. Uh, Don't think or don't try to become a police officer because you think it's cool to wear a a gun and a badge. do it for the right reasons. He is If you're in it to help people to do a good job to be a professional um, and keep that mindset throughout your whole career, you'll have a, a great career. Uh, so I think those, those two things. And then I guess the third thing would also be uh, those people that are important to you and those things that are important to you, keep in contact with those things before. Like a lot of people I hear saying, I used to do this, or I used to have that. Um, and they get too much into their career. So make sure you maintain that work-life balance and the people that are important to you. Thank you for tuning in to the Job Talk podcast. For more information, please visit us at thejobtalk.com.